Hello again, lords and ladies of Aramor. Welcome to the second installment of the greatest of Barons Willow Chumley's Guide to Leadership, also known as the I Rule series. So, we've talked about some things that were important previously, and I shall continue on the same train of thought. I hope you're competent enough to comprehend it, because I will not be explaining this a second time. If you wish to keep control of your peasantly subjects, you shall have to put in place certain laws. And, of course, you shall have to ensure that these laws are being followed. Now, in my barony, I have a relatively manageable portion of land. Whereas you have a humongous void of what I would call good luck, where you're intended to rule and um, enforce your laws over what appears to be an unmanageable amount of land. To counter this, I would try to make sure that I knew exactly where my subjects were going to settle. Which brings me to another point. Always make sure that you tell your subjects exactly where they are allowed to settle so that they cannot escape the grasp of your law people. Another grandiose tip and unmissable portion of your rulership is to put in place rules. Yes, I know I've said laws, but laws and rules are not the same. If you do not comprehend the difference, then we have a bigger problem altogether. Rules are meant to be followed not only by your subjects, but those in law positions and, um, well, yourselves, frankly. This is to keep yourself in check and to ensure that everyone feels like they're being treated fairly, even when you're blatantly stealing from them or punching them in the face for no apparent reason. These rules will give structure to your peasants and will make them overall more complacent. I mean manageable. I mean... Anyway. Once you have put your laws and your rules in place, you must also ensure that there are some advantages. After all, blind obedience is a thing of the past, as unfortunately, the average peasant has developed somewhat of a conscience and a brain. I know, terribly frustrating. I would slap it out of him if I could, but unfortunately I found that even alcohol cannot counter this particular problem. So instead, I have chosen to offer festivals and aid with breeding knives or perhaps some small amount of resources gathered for them by the barony's personal druids. So these are just a few of the ideas that you could implement to make sure that your kingdom thrives. Obviously, a barony is still the superior rulership, but you wish the kingdoms and all, so um, that is entirely on yourself. All that is left for me to say now is, you're welcome, good luck on your rulership. If you do become peasants once again, we can, we, well, we will quite frankly never speak again. Goodbye. Get your copy of Baron Willoughby Chumley's Guide to Erebor Flora for Peasants right now. The Baron deserves all right to change his mind on anything.